Hi everyone, this is Raju from Smart AI Technologies. Today we will uh, see what are the best 5 ways to increase the accuracy of machine learning model. We will go one by one. First point is with the increase of data set, we can increase the accuracy. We will go with an example. We will consider two cricket players. One who is trained for one year and another person who is trained for 10 years. Now, when you see the perfection, a player who practiced for 10 years will be more perfect than one who practiced for one year. What is the difference here? They both practice the same shot, but a person who trained for 10 years practiced that more than the person A. It means the person B is having more data, like he is trained on more data than the first person. He is doing great. The same thing happens with machine learning. If, for example, uh, in our case, uh, we, uh, we consider cat and dog classification. If both the classes is having 100, 100 images, we may get accuracy of say 50%. But what if we increase the data set to 1000, 1000 for each classes? We may get accuracy of 90%. That is the thing. We face this because when it comes to deep learning, we should have huge number of images for each classes and the second point uh, we should consider is we should go always with multiple uh, models not only the single model uh, for example i will tell you uh, there is a classification problem for example diabetes classification uh, you feel like okay knn is good for classification and you will do the knn and you feel like okay you are getting 90 uh, percent or 85 percent and you are happy with that but you can't say only KNN can give the good accuracy. There are so many other classifier models. You should always check, okay, by giving multiple models and check their accuracy. Sometimes KNN may give good accuracy, sometimes random forest will give good accuracy. And uh, there are so many classifier models, I think you will be knowing, like SVC, XGBoost classifier, such a thing, okay. And the third thing is fine tune the parameters. What are these hyper parameters and how to uh, fine tune it? Uh, if if you use any uh, machine learning libraries from scikit-learn, you will be knowing. There will be so many features. When it comes to, for example, I am taking a random forest. What it will be having? It will be having uh, like how many trees you need to consider, how much depth you should go like that there are so many features but among them we will use only one or two but you should always visit to the official website of scikit-learn whenever you are using any model because there are so many hyper parameters where we can play with and they matter a lot they will difference the accuracy of the model fourth point is you should always use cross validation uh, it will always increase the accuracy what is the what is the need for class cross validation is that uh, when you do cross validation, you are taking a uh, bundle of bundle of inputs at once for testing or uh, validation. For example, uh, I will, I will uh, take a real world example of classification of dog and cat. Okay, in normal validation, what you do if you have 10 images which contains five cats and five dogs, you will give one by one and you will check. Okay, uh, this is dog, this is cat, like that. But when it comes to cross validation, if you have 10 images uh, which contains 5 dogs and 5 cats, you may mix two one image dog, one image cat of a single bundle and you can give it to that model which predicts to that particular bundle. Okay, This is what we call it as a cross validation. So doing this will get better accuracy or will get, uh, get to know the proper working of the model instead of normal validation. Get to know some basics of all the machine learning models before going in them. For example, random forest classifier, in which class random forest classica, classifier can be used, decision tree classifier can be used, KNN, you should have basic knowledge of them. Okay, if you know that, you will give first priority to that. You will use all the models, that is, that is there. But you should know the structure of your data, you need to understand first structure of your data then some basic knowledge of machine learning also okay if you are able to understand structure of the data whatever you are using and if you know what priority should be given to each machine learning model that will save your time 
these were the five ways where you could have uh, increased your machine learning model accuracy uh, that that's the thing okay in this class this much and uh, we'll see we'll see in the next class thank you don't uh, forget to subscribe and like thank you thank you everyone